Hey guys, Matt from Eastwood. We're here in my home garage working on another one of my quick little projects for my Model T hot rod I've been building. So the car is basically nearing completion. I got everything all bolted together. And what I'm doing now is uh, working on polishing these custom stainless headers that we built for the car. And what I'm gonna do is show you guys the steps for quickly taking a set of dull stainless headers from the finish that you see here as welded together up to a mirror polished finish that'll look good and match the shiny Eastwood Boulevard black paint that we have on the car. So let's get started. All right, so in the last couple of shots that you saw, I was running over the whole entire uh, tubing with uh, a couple of different DA sanders. And basically the reason I was using those was just to get into the tight areas around the tubing that are hard to get in with the larger six inch DA sander. I could jump down between the three inch and the two inch, and I could get in all those tight little areas, get all the little uh, scratches out of the pipes. And for the most part, we got the majority of the, the scratches out of the tubing. Now what I was using was uh, alternating between 400 and 600 grit paper uh, to basically get all those scratches out. Uh, I didn't go much lower than that because the tubing's already pretty smooth and I didn't want to put real big deep scratches with the DA by using like 180 or, or uh, 220 paper. So I spent a little bit more time with the finer paper to get those scratches out and then overall that gives me a smoother finish that takes a little less time to polish out. So what we're going to be doing is starting with the tight sewn wheel and I'm using some uh, gray stainless polish. This is going to be our hard cutting polish uh, that's going to take out all the DA marks. It's going to actually help take out a little bit of those imperfections. And then once we get everything shined up real nice, then we can finish everything up on the loose sewn wheel using just some white rouge. And that will get a, give us a, our final brilliant mirror polish finish. Alright, so we got the, uh, the last pipe here all polished up and I showed you guys how quickly you can go through the two steps of buffing to go from a DA finish all the way up to something that's mirror polished like this. So basically what we've done just as a recap is we, we did a, DA, a few different DA sanders with 400 and 600 grit to quickly knock everything down, get it all smoothed up so that the surface was smooth. Major imperfections were taken out of the tubing. And then we went to the buffer, used the uh, stainless polish with the tight sewn wheel. And then we came back with the loose sewn wheel with the white rouge and that buffed everything up. And this is something that is going to really stand out on the side of the vehicle. And uh, because it is stainless, it's not going to tarnish. And basic, basically you can just detail it uh, when you're done driving the vehicle. You can just wipe it all down and it's not going to rust or tarnish like different metals. So. Hopefully this process and this video gives you guys a little insight into how you can polish up some stainless 
really quickly using just a handful of Eastwood tools. If you want to learn more about the tools that you saw in this video, you can click the link down below or you can visit eastwood.com to get all the tools you need to do the job right. Thanks guys.